Hello, in this uh, tutorial we're going to show you how to build a cost calculator or price estimation form for Stripe and uh, what I mean for Stripe is it'll be a price estimation cost calculator form on your website that you can link to Stripe if uh, if you would like users to be able to uh, purchase your products and services after they've been given an instant quote on your website. So first download Stylish Cost Calculator comes in a free and pro version. The free version doesn't have Stripe, but you'll be able to at least uh, set it up with the free version and still get a hang for what it uh, entails. Um, and then with the pro version, you have the Stripe features. So go ahead and go to Stylish Cost Calculator and click on Add New. And then you'll be presented with a screen where you can choose a, a demo, uh, pre-made demo for you. We got five more coming. Uh, basically almost, almost a calculator in every different industry out there uh, really gives you a good head start but for now we can just do stripe uh, let's call it uh, cost calculator for stripe click on start new and you'll be presented with our dashboard okay so start off with calling it a section name which would be your company's product and then a detailed description about your company's products and services okay so um first let's just build the cost calculator so you can see what it's like uh, you can do uh, product category number one and you can do product one so on and so forth give it a few dollars add another option product two and let's add another element let's add maybe a checkbox we'll call this you know additional extra service number one and you can do extra service number two. So now we just quickly built a cost calculator. If you want more detailed uh, videos and tutorials on how to do that, we have tons of other videos. You can check in our playlist section on YouTube. Um, so here you can pick down your products and start to build your, your, your cost calculator. Click on detailed lists. You can get an itemized list of what it would look like this is what the users will see the users can email themselves that list if they want you can turn off these buttons if you want you can even turn off the total uh, if you want to force people to fill in an email that's good to collect leads uh, but if you want people just to be able to um, buy your products and services and you don't have coupons go to more settings turn off the more coupon turn off the view detailed if you don't want that turn off the email um, now I'll show you what it'll look like if you go ahead and turn all those off. Uh, so now it would look like this. You just have your total uh, down here. So that's that's pretty cool. Uh, for now, um, you have three different um, ways that you can set up your in, integrate the the calculator, uh, PayPal, Stripe, or WooCommerce, or you can do all three at the same time. Totally up to you. Uh, each and every one of these will add a user action button in this area right here. And with WooCommerce, your possibilities are pretty much unlimited because there's a thousand things that plug into WooCommerce. So uh, I really like uh, WooCommerce for, for that feature because, I mean, if you want, you can even integrate with WooCommerce and then connect PayPal and Stripe to WooCommerce. I mean, the possibilities are almost endless. And we're also coming up with uh, some more functionality. Uh, next month, we're trying to integrate into Zapier, uh, making it, making this entire product and service almost just endless. So let's say if you want to click on PayPal, you would put in your PayPal email address and cart. Uh, this is for internal purposes. Um, what you pick whatever currency you want, include tax or not. You can have some optional redirections. Uh, but for this video, we're going to do Stripe. So just press on Stripe, refresh your calculator, and voila. Now you have your Stripe button. Um, so you can go products one, products two. That's 202 uh, European dollars. Go ahead and click on Stripe.
It'll bring you to the next payment and then 202 European dollars. And it's all itemized for you. And now your your users can purchase your products and services right then and there. So, yeah, we're very, very excited about uh, this new integration to Stripe. Um, in order to connect Stripe, you have to go into your uh, global settings into the cost calculator. You would do this by just going into the uh, global settings, which will bring you to this screen here where you're going to put in your Stripe secret key and Stripe public key. Uh, we have a tutorial on how to do that uh, in another video. Um, that's actually pretty easy to do. There's just a step-by-step -step instruction on how to do that. And once you have that, you'll be able to integrate uh, PayPal to any of the calculators on your website. Um, and this is at the calculator level. So if you want some um, on some parts of your website not to have Stripe and others to have it, then you can go ahead and do that. Um, and I'll show you what it would look like if, um, let's say European dollars, include the tax, sure. Let's enable PayPal and I will show you what it would look like if you wanted to have both at the same time. Boom. Now you have both at the same time. You can also go to the uh, more settings button here. Um, go down to turn off hover effect for payment buttons and that's going to remove that those um, that border around the buttons if you want a more of a cleaner look so that's uh, totally up to you guys but yeah this is basically um, the tutorial on that if you guys have any other questions uh, please check out stylishcostcalculator.com support where we have tons of user manuals and videos and if you still cannot find the information you want fill out a ticket at cost calculator slash cost support and we will try to get back to you in a timely manner